Hello everyone, this is Megan. I am so glad you joined me today. Today I am going to be explaining to you how many units you should be taking. So that's probably one of the most common questions I get is how many units should I take or how many classes should I take. And I'm going to explain that right now. First I'm going to do a GPA um, calculation and in that calculation it will explain it. So let's say this is your first semester and you decided to take Health 101 and those units are three. Let's see if I can write this pen here, three units. Okay. And your English 110 is going to also be three units. Your Math 1500 is going to be four units. And then let's say you're an undecided student, so you're going to take a major exploration course, and that's going to be two units. Now at each institution, these course numbers here are going to be just a little bit different, so don't worry if my numbers here don't match the course numbers that you're currently taking. But on every 4.0 scale, this is going to be the same, okay? So for every A grade that you earn, A equals 4, B, 3, C, 2, so on and so forth here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to estimate the grade earned, okay? So you think in health that you can earn an A, so we're going to put an A right here, okay? English, you think you can earn a B. Math, you think you can earn a B as well. Okay, and in major exploration, you think you can earn an A. You're going to work hard in that one because you want to know what you want to do. Okay, so an A equals 4, so we're going to put 4 here, of course. Pretty easy, right? And then a 3, and a B is 3, 3, and then 4. Okay, so I'm going to skip to down to here. So total units attempted. So this is how many units you're taking per semester. So this semester you're taking 12. And how do I know that? I'm gonna add them up. So health is three, so three plus three, four, two equals 12, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're gonna be doing a little multiplication, okay? So your three units times the grade you think you're gonna earn, so times your A, so times four is 12. My writing's not going to be too good. Hopefully you guys can see that. The next 3 times 3, 9. Basic math here, 12. And then 8. Okay, your next step is going to be to add your, your quality points or your grade points. Sometimes on a transcript they're called quality points. So you're going to add all these up. And I did do some pre-calculations before the video. So your total grade points or quality points are going to be 41 for this semester, quarter. Okay, and then the final step to get your estimated GPA for this semester is we're going to do 41 divided by 12. Okay, and what that comes out with is 3.41 six six so more than likely it will round up and you'll have a 3.42 on your transcript okay that's very good you guys for your first semester so let's say you get into your first semester or any semester and you're like oh man I'm getting a um, you know I'm getting a C in your math and I'm getting a, a B in my major exploration one thing I want you guys to see here is that if we change this right here, this one is four units, okay? So this one's the highest units out of all the classes that you're taking. This is your math, okay? And if we change this to an A, an A equals four. So the highest number of quality points you can earn here is 16, right? Because four times four equals 16. But let's say you get an A here, okay? So four times two is eight. So the highest quality points you can earn for a two credit class is gonna be eight, whereas a four credit class is gonna be 16. So if you think about it, which class should you put more effort into, you guys? You're right, a four unit class, because it's worth more for your grade points. If that just confused you, please leave a comment or question down below, and I would love to further explain that. But now let's move on. 
to why 12 units is full-time, okay? So 12 units is seen as a full-time student because for every hour that you are taking or in class or online, so a unit is seen in college as an hour, all right? So you are in class for health or online for three hours a week. So let's say you go Tuesday and Thursday for an hour and a half in each setting, okay? That's yeah, three hours a week, you're in class. So you're in class for 12 hours a week because you're taking 12 units. And you're expected for every unit you're taking to be studying at least two hours, studying in groups, reading your textbooks. So 12 times two is 24, right? So for 24 hours per week, you are studying, preparing, taking notes in study groups. That's outside of going to class. Now we're gonna add you're going to class hours. That is 36 hours per week that you are dedicating to school, you guys. 40 hours is a full-time job, okay? Now, if you're gonna add a job, part-time job, plus your 36 school hours, okay? You're gonna have to figure in family dinners on Sunday, boyfriend, girlfriend, you know, other commitments that you may have, church obligations, organization obligations, community service, all those other things that are going on in your life. That is why 12 units is full time, okay? Um, because 12 units is, as you see, a full time job. So when you add a job on top of 12 units, 36 hours a week, you're asking a lot of yourself. Okay, if you have any questions, please go ahead and comment and um, please share this on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, all those social medias. Thank you.